Hello, and welcome to episode 7 of the Pathfinder adventure card game, Rise of the Rune Lords playthrough. We're on uh, the second part of the first scenario, and this part is very good. It is local heroes. There's no villains. The only henchmen are random allies. If we acquire, acquire an ally, we can immediately attempt to close the location. If we fail to acquire an ally, however, we do lose the top card of the Blessing deck, so that could be bad. And to win, all scenario, win the scenario, you have to close all locations. Now, we could just try to get everything from every pile and just get to the end of each pile, but we do only have so much time, and we might fail a couple of checks, so... Now, you probably wonder, why are we getting all these good things? Well, everyone in town wants to thank the heroes of Sandpoint for saving them from the recent goblin raid, but you have a feeling that darker times are on the horizon. Explore the town, visit its most significant landmarks, and gather your allies. You'll be needing them. So we are the heroes, and we're looking to uh, make allies. Okay. Well, uh, we have decided unanimously that the melee is going to go up, well, strength for Kyra, but for Valoros... Uh, between all the comments, there's essentially a three-way tie between strength, dexterity, and charisma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a d6. 1 to 2 are strength, 3 to 4 are dexterity, 5 to 6 are charisma. There we go. We got dexterity. Perfect. There. Valoros is a little bit more dexterous, so I've... Drawn up my hands as always, pre-set up the decks, we're ready to go. Uh, I'm going to try throwing the blessings on each side so I know whose turn it is. And we'll start with Kira. Kyra. Mm. Now Kyra is going to the academy, because in the academy there's a lot of spells, and if you encounter anything other than a spell, you can explore again. I'm not going to really be able to make that intelligence check, but I want to go through this whole deck. Now at the... Waterfront, you subtract die off of the weapons you roll, but Valoros is quite good at combat. And you have to summon and defeat a bandit henchman to close it, that's fine. The woods, lots of monsters, and anything that is undefeated is burnished. Burnished. And the general store, if you encounter anything other than an armor, item, or weapon, you can explore again. So, that's neat. Let's start with Kyra. There's our blessing. And... Let's see how it goes. It's a little confusing because Kyra's on this side, but her stuff's over there. She didn't get a weapon, unfortunately. Uh, a spyglass. Well, wisdom. Uh, she has quite good wisdom. D12 plus 1, and I rolled a 12. So, we got this spyglass. Um, I guess I could go again. Oh, I get to go again anyway. I encountered something other than a spell on my first exploration. So we'll set that aside for now, and we'll see what's next. Detect magic. Neat. I auto-get it. Um, and let's... Let's just discard this. So if, uh, if it's a blessing or has the magic trait, I can immediately encounter it. Otherwise, it goes back to the top of the deck. Uh, it is a spell, so I can... Well, it's a, got the magic trait, as you can see. So I get to do that. Uh, now, this is an errata. Um, this shouldn't be Divine 14. It's actually Divine 4, I believe. Uh, so I actually auto-recharge that. So I, I potentially have a new spell. Actually, I probably definitely replace Mending. I really don't like Mending. Now, Lightning Touch, a little bit harder to get. It's intelligence-based, and I have a D6. So I'd have to just... Happened to roll. Well, look at that. I rolled a six. Okay, and I'm way overstocked on things, so um, I have two spy glasses. I might as well use one. So I will discard it to look at the top two cards, put them in any order. Now, this is handy because what I can do is I can put the pit on the top so that I can explore again afterwards. So that would mean free explorations. Perfect. Now, I'm still going to have to discard something. Um, I'll actually discard a shield. There aren't really too many threats I have to worry about. Whew. All right. 
over to Valeros. I guess the downside is you have to remember which one's on top. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do it that way. I don't, I don't like the possibility of forgetting where I am. Valeros, let's go. There's a soldier. Uh, strength melee 8. That's, that's pretty easy. So he has a d10. Ta -da. And that's a total of plus 4. So there we go. Now, can I discard this to explore again? I can, but I have the option of just closing this location. And considering how little is in this location, I'm actually just going to do it. Okay. So we have to encounter a uh, bandit henchman. Da -da -da. Should be one near the top here. Yep. Perfect. So he's going to make me recharge something. I will recharge my armor because it's usually pretty safe. And then I just got to fight him. So my glaive is a d10, and I just reveal it, get to add my d10 for my strength, and some pluses, should be fine. Yeah, I got 13 on die. So bandit is gone, this location is closed, and all characters have to discard a card. Oh, um, I guess my matic. My matic can get discarded. Now, let's see what we missed. Some monsters, nothing too important looking. Oh, a trapped locker could have been neat. Oh, the siren is, is nasty. It, you have to fight it using wisdom. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. Um, the alleys we missed weren't a big deal. The items we missed weren't a big deal. Don't mind me, just putting all these away. I guess I could have done that afterwards. Well, that's it. That's it for Valoros, so he's going to need to draw up. Oh, I forgot the soldier that he's supposed to still have. Because <laughs> he didn't discard that to go again. Okay, perfect. That's one location down already. Excellent. Uh, back to Kyra. And we already know the top card is a Pit of Mafanashkor. Draw three items from the box, and you can choose to keep one. If you did, we have to take 1d4 plus 1 fire damage. So, let's... Just draw three random items from the box. One, two, and three. Now let's see if any of these are tempting enough that we'd want to keep them. Nope, that, that's a no. They're all basic items, so don't care. Throwing those away. And uh, that encounter is done. And then we banish this. It's banished. Goodbye. And we did something other than a spell, so we get to go again. Fiery weapon. You can have 1d4 with a fire trait to combat check using a weapon. Hmm, that's kind of neat. So I got to roll a d12, and I'll pretty much auto-get this as long as I don't roll like a 1. No, 4. Good. Um, again, I have too many cards, so... Yeah, you know what? I like that spyglass strategy from before. I'm just going to do it again. Spyglass. Let's look at the top two. There's a ghost. And an ally. Ooh, you recharge him to add 1d6 to your check to acquire an ally. Or banish it to return an ally from your discard to your hand. That's kind of neat. Um, so it doesn't matter what order I get these in. I guess I'll go for the ally first. Uh, I'll just fight that ghost. Get it over with. You know, in fact, I'm going to fight that ghost right now. So I will discard my Blessing of the Gods. And reveal the ghost. Oh, it's a ghost. Okay, so I could try to just beat it with the Wisdom Divine check. Does this specifically say combat? Check to defeat a Bane with the Undead trait. Nope, I could just use my Wisdom. So I would have a D12 plus a D8 from my Undead Slaying abilities. Um... And this has a plus one to beat an eight. That seems fine. That seems fine. Uh oh, that's a one. And that's a one. So I failed by a lot. I failed by five. Okay. Um, well, that's my hand. 
I lose my hand. Perfect. That's not good. Well, that's the end of my turn, so I will draw up. Uh, well, there's my weapons. I probably could have just used the Sabertooth Tiger and, and fought it that way, but I mean, if I was going to roll two ones, I was probably going to fail anyway. So this has to get shuffled back into the Academy, which means my Spyglass was pointless. Ugh. All right. Valoros will have to go off and do something different. And we'll have him go to the woods. Uh, no, nah, he'll go over to the general store. We'll get to the woods later. And reveal the blessing. A warlord. So it's actually one harder. And you subtract one from each die roll. I forgot to subtract off of this one, but the first thing I fought, I beat by a lot. So, um, so this is actually a 10. So... Here's my 2d10, and I have a total of plus 4, although minus 2, so a total of plus 2 to beat a 10. And, you know, I can actually just recharge this to get an extra d4, which actually reduces it again. Whatever. So, this plus 1 to get a 10. 8, 8, oh yeah. Easily, easily beat this warlord. Goodbye. My soldier's recharged. Now, I beat, or I encountered something other than armor, item, weapon, whatever, so I get to go again. It's a short sword. I automatically get it. And look, that restocked my hand. How convenient. Um, I can't do anything to go again unless I use the Grizzled Mercenary. But uh, I don't want to do that, because you have to lose something, potentially. So, all right, that's his turn. Back to Kyra. Um, we got weapons now, so if we happen to encounter that thing again, an ally. Perfect. Uh, Charisma, diplomacy. Hmm. I don't even think I have a great charisma. So this is just going to be tough no matter what. Uh, I'll bless myself. Oh, actually, this gives uh, two dice to a non combat charisma, so yeah. I use a blessing. So I actually get 3d6 in order to try to get a total of 6. So there we go. There's 9. Easy. Okay, I actually like that troubadour. And I encountered something other than a spell. So hey, there's the ghost. This time the ghost is getting a mace. I'm going to break the mace. So I get a d4, a d8, the d8 from my own strength. Plus three, um, oh, plus another d8 because it's undead. This is to beat a 12. Yes, that ghost is very dead. Goodbye, ghost. Um, I don't get to automatically go again. I could use a blessing to go again. Uh, there's, there's no need. I can, I can take it at a slow pace. All right. Same blessing for Valoros, and let's go. Leather armor. Uh, okay. He automatically gets it, I believe. Oh, no, I could actually roll a one, couldn't I? I could. I could roll a one. No, I did get the leather armor. Uh, I don't... Oh, I really don't want to use that Grizzle Mercy. I'll just discard the leather armor at the end of my turn. Going... Oh. Forgot to draw up. Oh, that cure is good because I'm getting low. Um, okay. Uh, there's actually nothing bad left in here at all. So, Ta -da. there's a fiery weapon. So I didn't encounter something other than a spell. Sad. Uh, let's roll my d12, and I got a 10. So I easily got this. I will cure myself just to make my hand not be over. I got a total of three. My gosh, my discard pile is out of control. One, two, three. Let's see if my cure is going to go back on the bottom of my deck. That's a seven, so yes. I got to shuffle my deck first, though. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Whew. Uh, do I want to go again? 
Yeah, I don't really need to. Yeah, I'm, I'm the only person with a blessing at this point, so I better not. Moving back to Valoros. Let's see what he gets. A crowbar. Uh, strength three. Oh, he actually could roll a one and fail. Nope. Succeeded. Uh, do I... No, I think I just discard it again. Okay. Back to Kyra. Let's see what's here. Probably a spell again. Charm person. Bury it to draw a random human ally from the box. Ooh. That's neat. A free ally. Um, I don't have the arcane skill, so I only get to use it once. And my intelligence is only a d6, so I might actually fail this. Do I want to use a blessing on this? No, I don't think so. I'm just going to go for it. Where are all the D6s? I threw them off in the middle of nowhere. So I've got to get a four. There we go, six, and I'll just use it. Um, I'll just banish it, and I get a random ally from the box that's a human. So I'll just keep pulling out allies until I get a human. Well, oh, that was easy. It's a guide. Okay. Um, well, my hand's full anyway, so I will discard this. To go again. Ta -da. Hey! Uh, Charisma 5. Uh, I can recharge this to add 1d6 to my non combat charisma checks. So, done. So now I have 2d6 in order to get to a 5. That should be fine. Yeah, I got a 9. All right, there's that ally. Now I get to try to close this location with an Intelligence or Arcane 6 check. Uh, I have a D6. I could bless myself. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. I have been blessed. 2D6 to get a 6. There we go. Boop. On closing, I can shuffle a spell from my discard pile into my deck. Because of how much I've used, I probably actually do have, yeah, Lightning Touch. Oh, or Fiery Weapon. I'll do Fiery Weapon. Shuffle that into my deck. Doo -doo. And then I'll need to draw up because I am one card short, unless they're hiding. Nope. Da -da -da. Ooh, there's my Blessings. So that's two locations down. Doing good, doing good. Switch back over to Valoros with the Blessing of Lamash too. I'm going to boost combat. And let's see. Potion of Ruggedness. You can use it to auto-succeed at a survival check. Intelligence, I think he actually can't. Oh, no, he can. I keep thinking one of them has a D4 in Intelligence. No, but I failed anyway. That potion was too rugged. Uh, all right. Back to Kyra. Uh, she's actually going to come to the general store with Valoros, and we're just going to try to plow through this together. So let's see. A short bow. Uh, okay. I don't care. I, I guess I could just choose to fail. Oh, I have a D4. D4 in dexterity. That's where my D4 is. And I did fail. Perfect. Um, I kind of just want to get through this. I think I can... Oh, yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, never mind. I'll go back to Valoros. We can just, we can just zip through these. It'd be nice to encounter... There we go, an ally. At this point, I'll probably close this because I think there's only monsters left. I don't even remember fighting one. Oh, no, I did fight one. Um, this isn't too bad. Uh, Charisma Diplomacy 6, and I'm pretty sure D6 plus 2 is probably fine. I could bless myself to be sure. Yeah, you know what? I will use the blessing um, in order to make sure. So he's actually got 2d6 plus 2 to get 6. There we go. 7, 8, 9. Troubadour acquired, and then I have to banish a card from my hand to close this location. Um, you seem like a reasonable choice, but you know what? I'll actually banish a short sword. This might work out well. Okay, that location's closed, and because 
Valoros closed it, I'll show you what we missed. Sage's Journal, Night Watch, and a Mercenary. No big deal. So on closing, we add 1d6 random items to this location without looking at them. Oh, and then we can just sit there and, and keep trying to get them. Uh, that's two. So one, two. I guess I don't really need to shuffle them. Um, sure, he'll discard his ally to just go again. Oh, uh, actually, I get to go again anyway because I just encountered an ally. Okay. Uh, thieves' tools. That's cool. Dexterity four. I have a D eight plus one in dexterity. Thanks for giving that boost. Where did where did, that was the eight? Because I rolled that one. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter which of them I rolled. They all would have made it. So there's some more thieves' tools. Um, that's actually kind of handy. And now I will discard the troubadour to go again. See the last item. It's a blast stone. I have a D six in intelligence. See if I get it. Oh, I I actually did. Okay, but I still have to discard something, so I'll actually discard the Blast Stone. And this location was already closed. Now we're on to Kyra, and all we got left is the woods. We're gonna easily make it through this one. Okay, there's the blessing for this round, and... Oh, a zombie. Hmm, of course. Okay, uh, that's not too bad. I'll just use my mace as regular, so a D8. An extra D8, uh, plus a third D8, because it's undead. And uh, all that is plus three. Speed of nine? That's fine. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's very beaten. Goodbye, zombie. And... Uh, there's really no reason to go again. Might as well get Valoros over there first. So there's my Detect Magic. Uh, we'll reveal the next blessing. And... Valros will come over and join the battle. An allying dart. You can recharge it to, oh, to another character at your location. This is interesting. Plus, it's magic. That might be good for Valoros. Uh, the downside, of course, is that it's a dexterity ranged eight. Did I end up getting a blessing over here? There's no blessings. So I just have to hope to roll it. It's that simple. Okay. Um, where's my d8? So I just have to roll a 7 or an 8 to get this. And that's, that's all I can... I thought it was 7 for a second, but it's, it's a 1. Okay, well... Yeah. It, was, it, was, uh, it was tempting. I wanted to have it, but uh, it's gone now. Back to Kyra. And... We have a large chest. Oh, that's unfortunate that Kyra is the one encountering this because somebody over here has two thieves tools. Okay, well I might be able to do it anyway because um, you can use your melee. So I will break off my mace in order to try to really make this happen. So I get a d8 plus a d4 plus Valoros, I believe. I don't think this counts as a combat check, so I'm not going to add his extra d4. I don't think it works that way. Um, but still, I have that plus my original d8. This doesn't have to be an undead chest, does it? What would be the odds? Okay, and I have this plus a total of three to get to a ten. Oh, actually, eleven. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. So we beat that. 1d4 random items from the box. Or random weapons. Come on, roll a four this time. That's a four. That's a four. Ooh, random weapons. Okay, uh, let's go one, two, three, and four. Anything enchanted? Ooh, a spiked chain. That sounds cool. A flaming mace plus one. A longsword plus one. <laughs> I hit the jackpot on that one. Ooh, we're going to have to sort that out later. Uh, that's a big hand. That's a really big hand. Uh, I guess the sling's probably just gonna get discarded. I guess the spike chain will get discarded. Hold on to these two. I'll just use detect magic. Uh, let's see if the next thing is, uh, magic. It's not. It's an ally. Um, I don't actually have something to go again. And I don't get to encounter this. But we know it's there. 
which means we're going to go to Valoros and just try to, to get it. Oh, that's just a better version of uh, the guard that I have. Uh, anyway, let's just get, let's get through it. Uh, Valoros, it's up to you. Oh, wait, no, no, you know what I'll do? Um, I'll discard a bunch of things over here in the hopes that I draw up a blessing. Uh, one, that's not a blessing. There's a blessing. Two blessings. It doesn't matter. I can only use one. So automatically, I'm going to bless this. There's the sheriff. Uh, I'm going to be rolling a d6 plus two. So it's actually going to be 2d6 plus two. And there's nothing else I can do to, to boost myself, but I just have to hope. There we go. 11. Rolling so good this time. Okay. Uh, that's an ally, which means I get to attempt to close the location. Survive a, a wisdom or survival check. Uh, wisdom is bad for me, isn't it? That's a d4. Uh, okay. This actually slowed things down. I'm going to try using a blessing and just hope that that's enough. Uh, I need to get a 6 on 2d4. Ugh. Yeah. Didn't, didn't think this through. Maybe I should have let Kyra do this. Uh, yeah, I got a total of four. That was actually pretty close. So I didn't beat it. Now the problem is um, there's no other allies in here, which means that I actually have to go through this whole thing. So let's just try to go fast. I'll discard this to go again with Valoros. There's a cultist. Uh, so that's 2d10. You know, the downside to this is that it's clear I'm going to win. Um, yeah, beat that. But there's just... Here, I'll even use this Grizzled Mercenary. I can discard it to explore. If it's a boon, it's banished. It's not. It's a rat swarm. So, again, 2d10 plus some bonuses. Uh, beat it by a lot. That's 15, so its effect doesn't matter. Uh, he will draw up, and then we'll go over to Kyra... Oh, 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 I forgot I blessed. That's two die to a wisdom check. This is wisdom. Okay, so I had four before. If I can roll at least a two, I, I roll a one anyway. I roll a one anyway, so it didn't matter. Uh, all right, back to Kyra. Kyra used up all her blessings, so she doesn't actually have anything to fight with. Before the encounter, discard a random ally from your hand. Great. I happened to have one. So it's a combat of 11. I have no weapon, so I'm just using a... I've been using D8 for her strength uh, by accident. Just pretend I didn't see that. So a D6 plus a D4 from Valoros. Uh, <laughs> plus 3 to beat an 11. So I basically actually have to roll max here. And I rolled four, so I did not win. I'm just going to um, bury my chainmail in order to reduce all that damage. And then we'll draw up. And uh, I played this a little risky. I only have one card left in hand now. So this is going to get shuffled back in. Oh, no, it's not because of the woods effect. That's good. Uh, I'm going to heal myself before Valoros starts his turn, just in case something nasty happens, and I got a total of two. So if something nasty happens, I could still potentially die. Well, isn't that handy? Okay, one, two, boop. Uh, we'll see if Cure is going to get recharged. It is. So shuffle, 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 shuffle. Cure on the bottom. All right, Valoros. He's got a blessing of the gods. I believe, Valorous, I believe. Braces of protection. Uh, I don't want them, but I'll roll the d6 anyway. I failed. Neat. Uh, I can't technically go again, so we'll move back to Kyra. Kyra will actually skip her turn in order to heal herself. Oh, not with guidance, with uh, fiery weapon. So that's going to end up being discarded, but we get to heal first, and we heal, we heal two again, so really not saving anyone much time. 
Uh, fire weapon gets discarded, so it's actually like I didn't really do anything with both of those spells, technically. Lasai. Uh, okay, and then it's back to Valoros. Kira will draw up. Oh, there's that enchanted longsword. And Valoros, let's get a potion of hiding. Uh, that's a failure. And he actually can't explore again. So it's back to Kira for the last exploration, which is perfect. There's a large chest. That's actually really cool. Um, I'm not proficient with weapons, or am I proficient with weapons? No, I'm not. So I would have to increase the check by four. So the check is now a 14. Okay. Oh, I don't think I can use my weapon on this chest anyway, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I think I'm probably just going to fail anyway. Uh, I need to look that up. I don't, I don't think I can. I have no other way to boost it, so sure. I'll, I'll roll my die anyway, because I have a d6 uh, plus 3. Oh, to reach an 11. Okay. No, I, I fail anyway. So I'm going to assume that I can't use my weapon, and I think I might have last time and I feel bad, but all I have to do now is do a Wisdom Survival 6. Uh, I have a lot. I'll even give myself an extra plus 1. So I have a total of plus 4 on this, so I have to just not roll a 1. Boom! It is closed. Scenario is done. We each get a random ally from the box. Da -da. Da -da. Aldern Foxglove. Oh, that's... you. Uh, Banish him to reduce damage dealt to a character at your location by three. Or you can banish to succeed at your check to acquire a weapon, armor, item, or spell. That's kind of neat. And the soldier. Okay, uh, we picked up a lot of stuff here. Uh, maybe I can quickly, very quickly go through this and reduce stuff down. Uh, you know what? No, I uh, we got enough stuff. I'm going to do a separate episode where... We talk about what it is, and yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to record another little episode. Um, that way you can respond to that one. I mean, it'd be great if you comment on this one, if there's anything you like, anything you don't like. I forgot to do Valoros's voice again, so maybe let me know if you prefer it with or without the voice. Uh, that would actually be really cool to know, because the voice isn't super hard to do, but if I don't have to keep remembering to do it, that, that would definitely be good if I found out that everyone doesn't like it. If you like it, eh, I'll do it anyway. It's really, it's not bad. So, yeah, let me know what you thought of all that. Uh, congratulate me for, for defeating the thing with no villains, maybe. Uh, we had lots of time left. I already threw everything aside. But either way, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm enjoying playing through this, and I'm, of course, enjoying the fact that you're probably enjoying me playing through this. And the little bits of advice you're giving me. I'm going to need a lot of advice because we got some cool allies and weapons and stuff to pick from for the next one. So stay tuned for Pepisode 8 because that's where you'll decide on all this. I'll probably release it almost at the same time as this just to make it easier. Anyway, I think for the third time, thank you for watching. And as always, live free, game hard. Goodbye.